Hello, my friends of Tri-CD Community Television. Welcome to our program. And today we had a special guest for International Women's Day. Tori Toner is a city council in Coquitlam. And also she's a really great woman to empower other women. Thank you. Thank you, Tori, for being here. Thank you very much for having me today, Judith. Oh, it was so nice to see you last week. We were together uh, celebrating International Women's Day. We were. Yes. <laughs> It's really important that we start talking about International Women's Day. No start, like continue talking about. I don't think it needs to be just one day. What is your opinion on that? I think women should be celebrated and acknowledged every day. But that said, I'm really pleased that we have formal International Women's Day events. You and I crossed paths last week at the Tri-Cities Chamber of Commerce International Women's Day uh, brunch, and it was fantastic. And I think that everybody in the room should be celebrated and acknowledged and recognized and honored. And of course, more of that would be great, but I'm really glad that we do that as a society now. Yes, uh, it's, it's re really good point. Last week we were celebrating, of course, and different organizations prepare a significant events to make more aware and embrace women. But as you say, women needs to be celebrated and embraced every day. Good question. I just stay, I support people in our community that need supporting. I don't genderize everything. So if I'm helping refugee newcomers who I've been very active with, I support them, empower them, help them assimilate, get familiar with their new community and society. And I'm there for them, mentor and support. I reach out to our youth council and I help young, youngsters, future leaders of our community and I mentor them and support them and guide them when they need it, whether they're male or female. But I try to empower people at every opportunity when I can. People reach out to me all the time, whether it's for running tips or how to speak at council or be Toastmasters or be a newcomer in our, as, as a newcomer in our city. And whether they're fe female or male, I try to do what I can to em empower people because I truly believe that we all win when yes. other, other people are supported. But as far as female-specific Women's Day, I'm raising a daughter. She's strong. She'll be 21 in May. Great. I'm raising a son. He doesn't view women as a weaker gender at all. Amazing, Terry. That is so good so, to hear. Yes. yes. It's so important that you say is all responsibilities of women, how we raise male and female, and you, as I notice in, in, in all your experience of life and what you're sharing with our community, you're, you are empowering in different levels, but especially through your family too. Can I tell you a really brief story? Yes, please. One day in middle school, my son came home and he says, mom, I'm really confused. I played 21 at lunch, basketball. Yes, with, I love basketball. Let's just say her name was Allison. With Allison. And my son is very athletic. He's at university now playing university level sports. But yes. And Allison beat him in basketball, 21 at lunch. And for the rest of the day, all his buddies made fun of him. You got beat by a girl. You got beat by a girl. And he says, Mom, I don't understand. I got beat by someone who plays better basketball than me. Yes. And I just, I was such a proud mom at that moment because he didn't care that she was a girl. She fairly and squarely beat him at basketball because she was a better player. Good. Good so, to recognize that. Good not to make that a stereotype like you're a woman and you're more fragile or you're more... Right. You need us in that sense. Yeah. That is really good, Terry. It's, it's also, I say that people that educate one woman educate a generation. What is your, your thought on that? I agree with that. I think we still... I, one meaningful part of International Women's Day for me is to celebrate women and all the barriers that have been overcome and the changes that have been made in our society. But we still have work to do. You know, a matriarch in the family that, you know, became an engineer or like those women, the authors at the International Women's Day luncheon. Excellent right? example. Women who went first, the Ex first UBC example. president and the first University of Alberta president, they were both women, and... Um, one of her was engineer, one of them. Right. Yeah. One was a doctor, one's an engineer, mm -hmm. and then they both went on to yes. lead big universities in our country, and now they've co-authored a book. And I think women 
can play such good role models by, like they said, women who go first, like break that stereotype. You can do it. You want to be an engineer? Be an engineer. You want to be prime minister? Be prime minister, or at least run for prime minister. You can do it. You want to be a professional soccer player? Go for it. Like you, you can do it. Just because you're a woman doesn't mean you can't do it. But it's also true that, that society in some countries, they had a system that allowed women to do that. We had different, um, in the last years, unfortunately, different um, incidents around the world that they show differently. Um, in that sense, we are so privileged here in Canada. That's another part of International Women's Day that is meaningful to me, as I truly am grateful that I was born at the time I was born in the country that I live in. And you and I, or I have privileges. Yes, we have. That, you know, given my gender and everything that a lot of women in our world do not have. There is so much oppression globally. And I think it's part of our duty to do what we can to support and stand with women that are facing oppression. So there's some women who, in countries, they can't, well, look what's happening in Iran right now, right? Just last night, I was up at Town Centre Park for the Nauru's New Year's Festival. Yes. Women, life, freedom. It's all, it's a bit of a revolution right now about women's rights in a country halfway around the world, but it affects all of us. I like the words, woman, life, freedom. How, how does that resonate with you? What is the meaning of your in Well, your without life? women, we can't have life. Yes. Right? Yes. And... Well, it just all goes together. Women, yeah, women like freedom. It's hard to really articulate, but why wouldn't women have freedom? Why, why are, are women so oppressed and so viewed in such a narrow way in so many countries? It's interesting. Sometimes you met a, a gentleman in a different stage of age and time passed and they had a daughter and their mentality change. Yeah. Do you think society is in that process of growing? And um, like in Canada, we are blessed, we're privileged about that. But in uh, countries like Iran or Iraq, uh, do you think that, that they as a parents, they are growing in that sense? I do. And that, I want another, alluding to International Women's Day, what it means to me, I, I don't want to celebrate how far we've come in changing these views. It's happening slowly, but I, th I do believe it's happening. I think that probably my grandkids or that generation, it, they might live in a different world than we do now, but it isn't going to happen overnight. I'm proud of all the women in Iran and other countries in the world that are f facing oppression who are having the courage to fight this and be revolutionaries and have the courage to stand up against it. But um, it's not going to happen overnight. Yes. Uh, but I do think the needle is moving. I mean, just in our lifetime, other societal changes have happened. Um, Same-sex marriage has been legalized. You know, there's more acceptance to, you know, lots of d diversity in our society. And women are, it, nobody really blinks an eye anymore when there's a woman doctor or a woman judge or a woman mayor, right? Yes, yes. I mean, it's more, whereas maybe only one generation ago, you know, when May Reed, a city, a female city councilor. I remember, yes, she was the only one. When she got elected, she was called an alderman. Yes, right? I remember. Think about that. Yes. And now we have women on councils, we have women mayors, we have women MLAs, you know, premiers, women in leadership at, at all different elements of our society. And I think, in the other countries, it'll be slower, but I think I think slowly it will change. But they need a country that can be the leader. Yes, as, as different countries, they they um, are the leaders in in um, energy and petroleum and resources. Why not to be the leader in freedom? Yeah, and and peace. I like to think that Canada is a leader in freedom and peace. Yes, I, I, I feel that way. And I am so blessed to have Canada as my second home. And mm -hmm. I say really proudly, I am, of course, I born in Mexico, but I am Canadian, Mexican Canadian. Mm -hmm. But I am so proud because both of my countries, they value freedom, they value peace, and they value unity. Yeah. So that is amazing to be part of this 
community and society. Uh, Terry, what would be a message that you can say to our women in this generation, like the new generation of women that are coming? Because our generation, we need, we need to show that we are up there and prove ourselves. So, so to the younger generation? Yes. I just think that if there's any women out there, you know, in high school or graduating or figuring out what they want to do with their life and their career ahead of them, or if they choose not to have a career, whatever they want to do, they can do it. And just to be authentic to themselves. Don't live your life for anybody else. Be true to you. Be authentic. Pursue your dreams. If there's any barriers in place, figure out a way, build a team, build support, reach out for mentors and overcome those barriers. Mm -hmm. And you know, just stay strong. Women are strong. That's why we give birth. Women are, <laughs> women are strong. and We just, are strong, yes. <laughs> and I don't mean that as a, a dig against men at all. I, we, we, have to, we have to work together. We had an important task to give life, provide life to yeah. this world. Yeah, and I do feel very blessed that I was given the blessing of motherhood and I have a son and a daughter and all that. The so same. I would just tell, yes. like I tell anybody, you know, build your team, build your support, overcome the, identify any barriers that are in place for your, what you want to pursue and start knocking down those barriers one at a time. Uh, yes, oh. yes. Terry, it's amazing all the time to see you and talk to you and share our ideas together. Thank you so much for coming and be part of our program today. Thank you. Thank you for having me, Judith. Yes. And to you, my friends out there, remember, be authentic, check your where are you standing and ask for help when you need support. We are here for you. And as you mentioned, Terry mentioned, get that people around you that make you and support you to be the woman that you deserve to be. Thank you for being on our program.